I call you Murph? You can. Was there any other option that you had in terms of nicknames? It was always going to be Murph, wasn't it? I actually did have one when I first got to the club. So they reckon I've got quite a big backside, so I used to be called Junk. So your, your I think, Nick, uh, really? So I think uh, post football might have been a bit of strife, I reckon. So um, how long did Junk? Did junk, junk didn't stick though. Didn't stick, thankfully. Actually, I didn't mind it. It was a bit of a laugh, but um, there's been a few guys come on since that probably got more Junk than me. So uh, no, you can name and shame. If you want. Well, Jamo got it for a little bit. Wow. He's got no chest and a big ass. Uh, <laughs> Troy Menzel was very much in the similar boat. Yeah. And the shorts that we're wearing at the moment probably don't hide that too well either for a lot of the boys. So, um, but I've I've managed to slip the the nickname Junk. So I'm back to Murph or Skip at the moment. So I'll I'll take those two ahead of of Junk. Well, you know the great Aussie tradition of whatever nickname you prefer. If there's one that you don't like, that's the one people will call. <laughs> yeah, you. normally that's the case. But well, I actually was enjoying junk at the time, so that's probably why they sh- probably shifted. I can't, now I can't work out whether to call you junk for the rest of the trip or Murph or Skip. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go with Mark. Yeah, go with Mark. I probably just like that the most. <laughs> <laughs> the number three a jumper that you wear, it's a famous jumper, of course. Kevin Hall wore it, Mike Fitzpatrick. Yep. How much pressure was it? Oh, how big a thing was it to take over the number three jumper? Uh, especially considering that before you, that Digby Morrell uh, wore it the year before you. What's it mean to wear the number three jersey? Oh, it means a, it means a hell of a lot. So it was probably my favourite number when I was growing up. So um, I used to love watching uh, Michael Voss play. He used to wear number three, and um, and then then Juddy was my favourite player. So I, uh, I chose was... a, I chose the number three because of Chris Judd, and then funnily enough, he uh, decided to come across, and I thought I would have. Had a, had to give it up when he uh, when he came across, but um, yeah, there's been some great players have worn the number three at Carlton, so it's a big big honour. Obviously, Fitzy being a premiership captain as well. Did you think that Juddy would ask for it? I thought it was. I thought he might have been a chance of asking for it. If he'd asked for it, what would you have said? Oh, 50k. <laughs> <laughs> I've got. I've got. I'm going to the notes here. Right. I grabbed this Blues News from June 1988. Yeah. Right. This is an old publication. Yeah. Where the camera's there. And they had old player profiles, Steve DeRui, Michael Garvey, Jimmy Buckley. Yeah. Which you play with Jimmy Buckley's son. I do. That's crazy to yeah. me, by the way. That Sodge, we call him. Sodge. Son of Jim. <laughs> Junk's better than that. <laughs> I like some of the questions that they had. Right? Do you drink alcohol? Don't answer that. Yes, socially. <laughs> Who's that from, Jimmy Buckley? Uh, Jimmy Buckley just said, no, that was from Steve DeRue. Oh, okay. Jimmy yeah. Buckley said yes all the time. <laughs> what about the, do you smoke? <laughs> what was the response? Well, they say no, although, and Jimmy Buckley said at three quarter time. <laughs> likes and dislikes. Yeah. What do you like, Mark? In football or anything? <laughs> it's just a ridiculous question. Isn't it? Just, what do you like? Yeah, what do you like? Like likes driving and, in cars with champagne? In, is that a like or is that a dislike? That's a like at the moment. That can quickly change. That's true. Uh, it, can, <laughs> it can very quickly change. Do a dislike? Like, you want an interview that really changed quickly, just go to YouTube and see Michael Parkinson interview Meg Ryan. Really? Yeah, that that goes south, south pretty very, quickly. Very quickly, yeah. yeah. Actually, there? I really like coffee. So I started off when I first got to the club a non-coffee drinker, and then all the boys drink coffee, so you got to you got to join in. Oh, yeah. So I started off as a skinny latte man and now I've progressed to a long mac. Skinny latte. That's like yeah. a milkshake. It is like a milkshake. What don't you like? Uh, sharing a locker next to Bryce Gibbs. And it's actually true. pretty funny. He's got his own fashion label now. Really? Yeah. What's it called? Touche. Jordan Russell and Bryce have come up with that. Um, it's one of the dislikes or... <laughs> <laughs> One of your dislikes yeah. is Bryce Gibbs' fashion label. Yeah, yeah. I like well, that. Well, the fact That's that he's just got a fashion label. No, I saw you on that uh, TV show the other night. What was that TV show? Channel 10. Because oh, you've got your own one on SBS, don't you? Yeah, but have you been paying attention? Yeah. yeah the, the, Obviously, the, I wasn't. The quiz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. we get a lot of that. No one knows what it's called. How'd you fare on that anyway? In terms of your points. Well, look, I mightn't have won. Mm. Uh, it's all um, about being funny on and that I show, might have though, come, isn't it? I might have come last. Yeah, but it's all about humour. It's not really about the points on that, is it? Yeah, well, it's one of the Although other. it is nice to actually <laughs> answer a few correctly. <laughs> How do you reckon you'd go on that? That's terrible. <laughs> what about, do you keep up to date with the news? I do, actually. 
I reckon I'd go all right. I reckon we should organise something. Like that with the boys at the club. A Carlton Football Club version of Have You Been Paying Attention? Yep. Wow. And you back yourself? Oh, I wouldn't back myself. I'd be t- I'd be top five, though. Who, who Out would, of five. Who would be the favourite? Who's a, who's a bit of a... <sighs> Michael Jamison would, re- would think he's probably the favourite going in, but... <laughs> You'd think he was, but... Yeah, he'd, he'd probably go close, but he's very confident in his own ability, uh, Michael. He's got a very large head, so obviously a big brain in there, but Juddy, Juddy would think he'd go pretty well. Yeah, Jamison, Judd. Nick Graham would be horrendous, so it'd be funny just to get him on there. So he'd be like... He'd, he'd be the, one of he'd be the, the Sam Pang of, right, right. of the show. Favourite movie? I like uh, I like all the Back to the Futures. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, when when did the first Back to the Future come out? I I would I would have guessed eight, it feels like eighties late eighties. Yeah. But we can check that. I reckon it is late eighties. But now a lot of the fashion's starting to come back. Like, you know the puffer jacket. And We're gonna say that's yeah. Thing. Max is down and. It's very McFly. That you got a sleeveless parka on. Yeah. That Marty McFly look. Yeah. That's something that. I reckon I nailed that unfo- like, without even trying about a month ago and Daisy hammered me about it. So I actually had the, the blue and white and red puffer jacket yes. with the, the tight acid wash jeans Wow! into red Air Maxes. So it was basically exactly what Mick Floyd <laughs> made <laughs> me fly But that was not intentional. Not you intentional. Had... Oh, so That is beautiful. Yeah, it was a great moment. When it comes to captaincy. Yeah. Carlton have had some great ones, of course. Is there one that you would like to emulate? Obviously, playing under Juddy was a big, big thrill. It was one of my favourite players growing up. Yep. Um, and he just leads by example and stands up in big moments. So that's why I think a lot of people respect uh, the Judd man. So he's probably my favourite. There's a lot of captains that you could take little pieces from. Yes, Chris Judd, you could take one. You know, there's others like, you know, I'm thinking Captain Stubing from the Love Boat. Captain Kirk from Star Trek. If you took their little I've never bits, seen Star Trek. You're missing nothing. But I was a Star Wars man rather than... I think favorite, everyone's favorite, a Star- favorite Star Wars character. Uh, we'll keep driving if you want to talk Star Wars. Don't, mind, don't mind the Ewoks. <laughs> a few similarities with myself. I was going to say, I think they'd beat you around. <laughs> yeah, they probably the would. They took, yeah. a, they took a few short steps. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't, hey, Ewok's not a bad uh, nickname for you. You're a hairy man, you're little, small steps. Hairy man? Uh, well, compared, this is about two months' growth. But compared to me, Murph, every, okay. everyone's yep. uh, hairy. Star Wars is a serious topic. Yeah. What do you got? I like Han, the, I liked Han Solo. There's a lot of arrogance about Han Solo. There's a look you could consider. The black leather vest. <laughs> yeah, it's a good look, isn't the it? the white shirt. Yeah. Bros Gibbs actually used to run that a couple of years ago, the old brown leather jacket, the white shirt, and the shocking tight tight leather pants or I think the they, really leather. Leather. they probably weren't leather, were they? Probably uh, not. But like, yeah, the brown leather jacket, wow. That was Gibbs Gibbs used to run that and when he used to go out. Brown leather <laughs> didn't work for him too well. Have you ever thought about any intervention? Or you just let him go? No, nah, let him go, he's from Adelaide. He's come a long way. <laughs> Is there any part of you at all that just stops and considers and is in a moment of reflection and just thinks, wow, I've got really good hair? Really good hair? Yeah. Uh, by the way, Quite I asked Juddy about his hair too. This is not, yeah. It's not just specific to you. Okay. It's a very wave in bouffant like when it grows a bit, grows a bit, so. So you're saying you're not That's you're where not it, That's where it's at at the moment, Sam, well, so. Yeah, right, it's not, it's not your best day. Although it's not, I'm not receding or anything like that. I know. Like no. Jody, so that's a big positive. I don't think I'll lose it, but, but you get it from your mum's dad, don't you? Yes, I've that's heard That's a rumour. And? What's, oh, I what don't was... know, he passed away when I was younger, so I had no idea. But yeah, he looked I... like he had a great head of hair when I saw pictures of him. I, I can't believe you. younger days. I like you've confirmed that, that it is, it is your mother's father, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, my mother's father. I'll, I'll be like Jody in about six months. Are you look like you're going well. Yeah, but it's, it, any diet, it's, it's not my real hair. I was, I, was almost, <laughs> I was almost late this morning because I had to go and pick it up. Yeah.